Black Friday, literally in the NFL. We back, Good Fella Sports TV. Y'all know what the business is, man. And NFL is going to continue to hurt its uh, its stock, you know, in the black community. All right, um, it's just the, the way it's going to be. You know what I'm saying? Uh, NFL is going to be an obsolete entity in a minute anyway. Okay, more kids going to figure out playing baseball. You get more money. More kids going to go to the NBA. More kids going to go back to tennis. So it does have a positive effect as the NFL's uh, fall from great starts. But today was just disgusting, okay? All right, the most disgusting thing today was Steve Wilkes getting fired from the Arizona Cardinals. I knew this for about three weeks now, and a lot of people knew this, okay? It was disgusting. Um, a team that had a rookie quarterback and Josh Rosen that wasn't the blue chipper. He wasn't Baker Mayfield. He wasn't even Josh Allen this year. Um, he get fired, okay? He get fired at the one season, okay? They said they got the higher wrong. I mean, who's going to come there and and win with Arizona, okay? Arizona had David Johnson coming off a foot, coming off a leg injury or injury last year. I remember he got injured versus the Lions last year. I mean, you had Josh Rosen, a rookie quarterback. You had a China dollar, Sam Bradford. I mean, you had Larry Fitzgerald and not too much more over there. The defense was okay, but... At the end of the day, Steve Wilkes left the Carolina Panthers. I believe he was a D coordinator over there to come to Arizona, you know, root his family there. And then he got to uproot his family after one year. I mean, come on. I mean, Matt Patricia in Detroit, if that's the case, he had a worse year than Steve Wilkes. You know, he took a borderline playoff team at 9 7. They only finished, what, 6 and 10. You know, you see the double standards in the NFL. Obviously, we all know the NFL is big, big time racist. But now it's basically with Trump being in office and and, and and now you really starting to see the front the real the real face uh the real the real NFL's true colors now I mean they kind of suppressed it now now you see them with with, with Void and Leonard for that contract um and, and and how they really being mistreated but at the end of the day if the players and the coaches they ain't gonna stand up the minorities the the Ron Revere the, whatever Mexican players and Mexican coaches out there Latino coaches and the black players who make up the league if they're not gonna bond together with the coaches and the players. In, in the management, if they're not going to bond together and say nothing, you're going to have more Vance Joseph getting fired. Come on, man. How does John Elway retain his job when Vance, Vance, when, when, when it ain't Vance Joseph fought? What you want to do? You don't, you got, you don't have Tlaib no more. You got Von Miller. You got a few other pieces on defense. But ultimately, John Elway has, has lacked it to replace Peyton Manning. You know what I'm saying? He lacked that. I mean, Demiris Thomas was getting older. Emmanuel Sanders was okay. But they lack replacing Peyton Manning, you know. And that's Vance Joseph's problem. He supposed to go out there and evaluate and pick these quarterbacks. No, John Nelway, you the Hall of Fame quarterback. Vance Joseph, no matter who you get coaching the damn Denver uh, Donkeys next year, you know, if you don't fix the quarterback, you ain't going to be shit. Okay, Todd Bowles, he got a raw job in New York, you know. that They ain't been to the playoffs in like 10 years or some stuff like that. So, um, you know, it was Mission Impossible for him. And he maybe he just wasn't a good fit for a head coach for that time. Uh, Marvin Lewis, I, technically he stepped down, but basically he was asked to, you know, resign. That's just what it was, okay? So at at the same time with him, you know, he he is the most black privileged uh, person in sports, in my opinion. You know, maybe LeBron got a little bit more black privilege than he has in the last 20 years, but Marvin Lewis is the most black privileged. I rooted for Marvin Lewis to keep his job with the Cincinnati Bengals because, I man, after all these other uh, Caucasian coaches kept their job year in and year out, you know, and all this other stuff, Matt Millen stayed in Detroit being a general manager. Like, you know, Marvin Lewis was like the fucking uh, uh, Mar- Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, you know. He was an innovator. He was like uh, Harriet Tubman for, for black coaches that had black privilege in the NFL. And I don't ever think you're going to see another black person in the NFL had a privilege that Marvin Lewis has. So, He's an innovator. He's a trailblazer. And um, we know the Cincinnati Bengal head uh, um, owner, Mike Brown, ain't racist. But I just think Todd Bowl had a, Bowles had a bad fit. And that's what the black coaches get. The black coaches get the jobs that the white coaches really don't want. They get the jobs that the tier one candidates don't want. You know what I'm saying? And they don't get the time that a Marvin Lewis was afforded. They didn't get the time that Andy Reid was afforded in Philadelphia Eagles. They didn't get the time... That um that Chip Kelly had in Philadelphia, he was awful after that first year. But that's what it is in the NFL until those players start to bond together and coaches and really get their rights and, and really let the owners in the NFL know they make the league go around. They don't keep getting stepped over. But NFL fall from grace anyway. 
Uh, good fellow sports TV. Don't forget we on Facebook, we on Twitter. Also, can reach out to the email if you got a business question, inquiry, sponsorship, or you got a video request. Uh, also, can hit the you know uh, subscribe button, the bell icon button. Won't we'll miss another video. In addition to that, you can make a donation to the channel. That links in the description. Keep looking out for us. Much blessings. Happy New Year's to everybody. Hopefully, everybody bring it in safe. Don't drink and drive. Y'all know what the business is. Good fellow sports TV. We gone.